Well, three days ago I was here uh, before combining. I thought I'd come back and show what the result was. Basically, I filled a semi and then some. So about 1,400 bushels, 13, 1,400 came out of this field. Um, in the earlier video, there's quite a bit of foxtail primarily here, five or six feet tall. Um, it's amazing what a combine can do. Sorting the seeds, um, going through, even like here, you know, you see bust open the pods, keeps the seeds, um, and all this will actually act as a really good cover crop, or you know, a winter cover, I should say. A lot of weed seeds are going to be in there, but um, next year this will get no-till drilled as soon as I can get out here with spring wheat and underseeded with red clover. So the idea is I'm going to get an early jump on this foxtail and then it will get mowed off um, before it sets seed when I swath the wheat. And then when the wheat is gone, the clover will take off and I can then mow the clover too. Um, if uh, there's any weeds that make it through. So I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Um, it's supposed to snow five inches tomorrow and be wet all week. I would have had a really hard time taking all this material off it. I don't think it would have ever got dry and it would have been a real challenge to get it through the combine. So um, fortunately it all worked out and uh, the truck, which was parked right over here, the semi truck, um, he took it down this morning down to Cashton. Where are you going to sell? The, I'm selling the grain. Okay, bye for now.